Hi guys, this is Mr. Mallard. This is our uh, video for the second part of the project on creating an arch bridge. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so go ahead and press create new design. Once it's loaded, the first thing we're going to do is edit this work plane to make sure it's the same size as our final product. Go ahead and click edit grid in the bottom right hand corner, then click inches. We're going to set the length and width to eight inches by three inches to make sure that it matches the final size of our project. Press update grid. All right, then we're going to go ahead and create the legs of our project. So click and drag a box over under the screen, make it a quarter inch, 0 0.25 inches by 0 0.25 inches. And we're gonna start by creating the first half of our uh, first side of our arch bridge, and then we're just going to duplicate that and add the deck at the end. Okay, so after you've made the, the length and the width of the leg a quarter inch by a quarter inch, you're going to set the total height of it to 2.5 inches. All right, after you've done that, you're going to duplicate this leg. So click on it, and then upper left-hand corner, press duplicate. And then you're going to drag that extra leg into the bottom uh, right-hand corner. And so... We like to group things as much as possible. This saves us some time because if we don't group them, then after we've aligned them, then maybe they become unaligned. So go ahead and make sure you have both these legs selected. We're going to get them aligned and then we're going to leave them aligned. Okay. So let's select them, press align. Uh, let's make sure that they are, oh, that wasn't what we wanted. Uh, let's make sure that they're, they are aligned against the edge of the work plane, which it looks like they already are, but let's just verify that real quick. Okay. Appears that they are both in the very corner of the work plane. So what we're gonna do is with them both still selected, you're gonna group them. So press group in the upper left-hand corner like I just did. Let's change the color so we can make sure that we don't forget that. All right, the next step is we're going to change the work plane. So click on work plane right here in the upper right-hand corner then click on the back of the leg, then drag a box over. This is gonna form the basis of our side of our, our bridge. All right, with the box dragged over, we wanna make sure that it's flush to the back side of the leg, okay? So I clicked on this cone, I dragged it over, so it's flush to the back side of the leg. Then I'm gonna set the width of the side to a quarter inch, just like the overall length of the overall width of our leg. And then we're going to make sure that the overall length of our, the side is gonna be eight inches to match the distance between our, our two legs of the bridge. Okay, so now that we've set it to eight inches, we're also going to set the height of this thing to two inches because their legs overall are 2.5 inches long. All right, now let's do some alignment work. All right, so Go ahead and select all. Click on line, align in the upper left-hand corner. Then we're just gonna make sure it's aligned to the back edge of this leg. And I've zoomed too far in. Again, I'm, using, I'm scrolling in with the mouse. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure that it's aligned to the very top of our legs. Okay, it looks good to me. Uh, next thing we're going to do is cut out the arch. So go to round roof, click and drag that over here. And we'll see a couple of things are wrong. Well, we need to rotate this. So click on this little arch looking thing right here. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Perfect. Now we're going to drag it over. And we're going to pull it out a bit. Okay. After we've done that, let's go ahead and make sure that the width of this overall thing is 7.5 inches. Why 7.5 and not 8? Well, the width of our legs is a quarter inch. Uh, and so we don't want to cut into the legs. We just want to cut into this the side panel that we made. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this down. Uh, and we're going to make sure that it is flush against the bottom of our 
red panel. So not quite, let's pull it down a little bit more. Okay, now that we've done that, let's increase the length of this. It should be one and seven eighths. Perfect. Now let's do some alignment. So click and drag, select everything. All right, align, align at center. Okay, and I think that, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Looks like we're a little bit too low with this arch object, so let's drag it up a tiny bit. Nope, we've gone too far. All right, we're gonna redo it. We'll have to realign. Okay, it's still centered, perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do here actually is click on the work plane. Let's put the work plane back to normal. Now click on our object and we're going to move this guy up using the cone. All right, that looks correct, wonderful. Okay, uh, again, it's flush with the bottom, the red arch. Now we're gonna cut out this shape from the red side panel. So go ahead and click and select, or just click the arch, it's, uh, this curve shape itself. Make sure to go from solid to whole. After you've done that, we're going to click and select everything. Let's do a group, all right. Now let's change our color to say a nice green color or whatever color you'd like. And then we're going to duplicate this. So click on this object, press duplicate. All right, drag the duplicated legs over to the edge of our work plane, like so. Now we're going to align these two. So select both of them, click, uh, select align. Looks like they're already aligned. Perfect, okay, in that case then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna group them. Okay, they are now grouped. So we clicked in the upper right hand corner, then group. Then we're going to select the work plane and we're gonna put it on the top of these legs. Then we're going to find this box. We're gonna put the box uh, on top of these legs to make our deck. Let's make the thickness of this, well, let's just change the length and the width first. So we want this to be three inches, three inches by eight inches. Okay, three inches by eight inches. And then the overall thickness of this should be 1 16th, which is 0 0.0625 inches. Okay, one last thing to do is make sure it's aligned. So select everything. Uh, by just remember dragging over with the red box and select it select all press align all right well we want it aligned to the edge of our object so let's click this dot here and then we want to make sure that it's centered okay and let's just do a final inspection that looks good i think we're done so let's go ahead and select everything and press group and let's give it one final snazzy color. How about, ooh, not an orange, that's quite ugly. How about a light purple? Cool, why not? All right, reset the work plane, and it looks like we're done. Do export STL. Now, this is the part that a lot of people had trouble with, because I can't show this, unfortunately. You have to sort of figure it out yourself. How do I attach this downloaded file to my Teams assignment? Well, you need to open the Teams assignment, and then you need to go to the Downloads folder in either File Explorer or Finder or uh, whatever the Google Chrome version is if you're using a Chromebook and you need to uh, attach that file to your assignment, okay? Unfortunately, it's not something I can help you with because I, I don't know what type of computer you're using, but if you're struggling, please come to Office Hours. I'd be happy to help you there, okay? All right, that's it for this part of the project. I'll see you guys in class.